Fossil Hunting in Dorset. Just look at that shark tooth. Cue the titles. In our second video on the series all about Tube and Bunny Beach, this one we're looking at fossil hunting, how to find them and what you're looking for. So let's have a quick look on the map and see where we are. So on this map you can see that in yellow, that's the area that you're most likely to find the fossils. You can see that we've got the P for the car park and you'll also see the Cliffhanger Cafe. That's basically it for facilities in this area. So there are toilets there. So this is Tute and Bunny Beach, that's the sea defence. And just coming into shot, you'll see the Isle of Wight and the Isle of Wight Needles. This particular part of the beach is stony, but actually, as you get down to the beach, you can see that you've got miles and miles of gorgeous golden sand. If you're not fossil hunting, it's actually a really great place to just come down and spend some time in the summer, enjoying the sand and enjoying the sea. Just pay, pay attention to the safety notices. The cliffs are unstable as there is soft mud. So as long as you're not clambering on the rocks, you'll be absolutely fine. Most of the fossils that you're going to want to find are at the bottom of the rock from the beach level. So please don't clamber over the rocks. So let's just have a quick look and see where we're actually looking on a geological time scale. So just take a few moments just to familiarise yourself. I've marked with the lovely turquoise arrow where we're looking at. So we're not finding dinosaurs and we're not finding anything from the Jurassic, the Triassic or the Cretaceous period. What we're looking at is the Eocene period, which is about 36 million years ago, which is a long time ago, but it's not quite dinosaur long time ago. But we're still going to find some amazing fossils. So let's get started. So from the beach level, you're going to be walking along the sand and you'll be able to see the cliffs. As I said previously, please don't clamber up them. They are very soft. You do not need to bring a hammer. This isn't Lyme Regis. You're not going to have to hammer rocks. The fossils are just going to be there on the surface. Let's have a look and see what I mean. So these are the kind of fossils. You're going to find lots of gastropods and bivalves. These are creatures that have lived in the sea shelled creatures that have lived in the sea and look at the size of this one look isn't that amazing and they're just there they're just there at the bottom of the cliff you really don't need to climb up if you're loving our videos then don't forget to hit the subscribe button we go to all sorts of places and we'd love you to join us. Back to the fossils. So, this is another one that we found. Another large shark tooth. You can find them along there. You can even find a fossilised cat. Lots of tubey type things. Broken bits of shell. There's just so many bits and pieces that you can find down there. You will come away with lots. So this just shows you how soft the rock is. Please don't pull too much of the rock out. The cliffs are eroding rapidly and if everybody goes down there and starts pulling out the cliff, there will be nothing left. As you can see, we really didn't pull anything apart. We just looked at what we could find on the top best time to go down there is just after a storm because the waves have just naturally eroded up and so things are exposed but you can see look they're just literally lying on the surface really easy to find So as I said previously, these fossils are from the Upper Eocene period and they form part of the Barton clay. If you're interested in the geology of the area, I'll pop some links to some really useful sites that will tell you a little bit more about it in the description box. But 
you can see just from looking at this how rich this bed is with fossils. They're just literally everywhere, all different shapes and sizes of sea creatures and shells. They almost look like they have just died. It's a great place to take your kids to, on a Sunday just to have a little go at fossil hunting. No hammering required. You'll also find some of these boulders which are made up of a mixture of limestone and clay. Just to give you an idea of size, you can see how huge they are. More fossils. It just really is a rich bed of fossils. So this is what the bed looks like from a distance. This is the cliffs. And the area that's got most of the fossils, then you're kind of looking for a greyish material. There we go, more of it from a distance, just to give you an idea that you really don't need to clamber up the hills, up the cliffs rather, to collect the fossils. So here's just a few more of the ones that we found. Just tiny. So it's really easy down here to find and collect these fossils. My advice would be take a little bag with you, or take a little pop, just to pop anything that you find that you want to take home with you, but please don't take too much, there'll be no cliffs left. And maybe just take some wet wipes with you, or just something to wash your hands with. Although if you've got suitable foot footwear on, you can just pop in the sea and wash them off there. It really is a simple place to find fossils. No hammering required, and you might even find some shark teeth. We hope you've enjoyed this guide and that you fancy doing a little bit of fossil hunting down at Chewton Bunny Beach. But please take home any rubbish that you find. It's really sad to see how much rubbish is left on the beach that could potentially end up in our oceans. We found plastic, even metal forks, all sorts of things on the beach which, if we didn't clear them up, they would have gone into the sea. So please, please, please take your rubbish home with you. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and we hope to see you down at Tewton Bunny Beach soon. Or maybe you can take in a little spot of surfing. It's a beautiful location. Just check out the Isle of Wight and the Needles. Beautiful place to come, and we hope you've enjoyed our video. Thanks so much for watching.